Welcome to Bear Pantry Talk. This is a sister channel to the Bear Pantry Show. This is where you're going to find honest reviews, exciting unboxings, do-it-yourself projects, and engaging commentary. We should have gone to the post office yesterday, for real, for real. But we couldn't go because I had one item that I needed to, um, to make. I had something I needed to make, well, Joe needed to make. So we're going today. I have a bunch of things. Go ahead. Yes, I did. My glasses have a, a spot of water on it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm posting like three or four items away, but I don't have the correct size priority box. I don't need the square one, I need the rectangular one. And Joe has two in the back, but they're dirty looking. They have like wipe footprint on it and stuff. Wipe it off. You can't wipe that off, it's ingrained in the cardboard. I'm like, I'm not sending. No, if the post office messes it up after I send it and the person receives it dirty, that's another story. But I'm sending it clean. They don't know the post office. They will know. They will know because I treasure when I'm sending things to people. So the persons watching right now will know. Oh yeah, I know now. Because I'm telling them. <laughs> so let me tell you guys a story. Joe was talking to his ma this morning. Joe was finding out, well, trying to find out more about the path. But of course, we have no updates. All we heard was the minor heart attack. And we don't know anything else. We don't even know what kind of scan they're trying to give the man. Is this water bugging you guys? That's not my glasses. <laughs> so anyways, um, Joe handed the phone to me. And Joe's mother started telling me this really, really interesting story. So interesting that I asked her to come on the phone and talk through Duo because she has an Android. Joe has an Android. But unfortunately, we don't have Duo set up and it was giving Jada some trouble to set up. I don't think she has Duo. She doesn't know how to do it because I don't know how to do it. So we just uh, used the regular video conference thing on the, on the Android phone. So the connection wasn't all that great. You couldn't see her face for much of it. She looked like an oil painting. Some of it she came through, but you could hear her. And the parts where her voice cut out, I'm going to fill in the blanks in the story. So I'm going to cut away so you can see this conversation or hear this conversation, okay? All right, guys. So my mother-in-law is going to tell a story of her time in the hospital. Remember, you guys prayed for her, right? So uh, the connection is really bad <laughs> in, in duo or... Huh. I wonder if I could hang up and call you back in duo. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hang up and call you right back in this thing called duo. If you have duo, then it'll ring on your end. If you don't ring on your end, I'm going to call you back the same way, okay? All right. All right, let me hang up. Yes, ma'am. Okay, Grandma, it's not working good. Oh, I see you good. I see you good. See, oh, see, broke up now. See, you guys get a quick glimpse because it's going to break up on us. So I want you to tell this story. And I realize my battery is low too. Tell the story about what happened to you when you were in the hospital. The night when things looked so bad, when everybody was counting you out. Tell the story. <laughs> they were counting me out. I count myself out if you think about it. You did? Anyhow, uh huh. I let's say I was gone. Put it that way. All right. And I was there for the overnight, mm -hmm. like that. And the morning, I woke up, but I feel kind of a uh, out of order then. Uh huh. But I had my senses with me. But I think that was so I had my eyes closed. And they still have something coming up to me. Okay. So about eight o'clock, nine o'clock. Uh-huh. I don't know, I didn't feel no way, but I just opened my eyes. And when I opened my eyes and look, I see this man standing by the computer. It's a tall man. Mm -hmm. I didn't scare. I said, he, oh, he's very tall to myself. And that person walked to the door, or hold, but he gone to the door, and he disappeared. I didn't hear the door open. I didn't hear it close. When the nurse, they coming in, you hear it click in and out, but I didn't hear it. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, 
I wasn't scared, honestly. Mm-hmm. I closed my eyes and about an hour after the break, I get up and try to eat and I stay there. And nothing just come out of my mind. But two days later on, when I feel a bit better, this old nurse, I think she worked in the kitchen. Because she always bring my breakfast for her dinner or whatever. Mm-hmm. So when she come, she put it there and she sit down and talk with me. So I said, you know, what comes to my mind this morning? And then when I was out, I would call it. I said, I see this person stand up by the computer. And when I try to look good, the person disappeared. Mm-hmm. Then she, I tell her what to look like. So she said, like this, she said, Loretta, you are not the only person that did. So she said, well, first. All right, guys, we're back. I paused it just now because... um the memory was getting corrupted and the battery was dying so we switched out so uh miss loretta is saying that when she told the nurse that always brings her meals for her about the man that she saw in the room the tall man she only saw him from behind and he disappeared she said he didn't leave the room per se but he disappeared because she didn't hear the door click right you know those big hospital doors they kind of click in and out and the lady said Miss Loretta, this, you are not the first person to tell us about that man. Okay, pick up where you left off there, Granny. Yes, uh, she said, she said, it's really bad. Never. Mm-hmm. She said, but the amount of people that talked to them about it, she figured it's um, body that was in that same ward and died. But he said, believe me, you can do something because nobody talked bad about it. Now, the people... So maybe he was fixing that computer uh-huh. for me and the good side, right? Uh-huh. Now, the people that and saw the man before, did those people end up dying or those people recovered no. like you? No, that's what the nurse said. He said he's a good Samaritan because everybody that see him always say was in the same position then and mm-hmm. they get up. Wow. Because Babs, to be truthful, they gave me up, you know. Uh-huh. But you know, who didn't, you know who didn't give you up? We over here. Because when Joe and Myrna kept giving you up, I said, no, don't speak that over her. And I went to my people, my viewers, my prayer warriors, and we never gave up. We prayed through the whole night. Through the whole night. When you called me the next morning and I saw your phone, I'm like, I hope it's not somebody using your phone to bring me bad news. And when I hear your voice, I'm like, oh, my God, oh, my God. <laughs> we didn't give up on you. Thing too. Mm-hmm. Because she said she wants to call with the period. Uh huh. You don't want to hear bad news. So <laughs> afterwards, I said, well, it. I don't hear from her. I call her. Uh huh. When I call her, she said, Lur? I said, Yes. <laughs> huh? I said, Yes. He said, Oh. You know, tell me nothing, uh, up to now, then they show me that picture yet where they take with me, you know. That's the picture you want me to get from Myrna, right? Yes, they don't want me to see. Okay. I don't know why. I'll get the picture if, uh, I'll describe it to you. <laughs> yeah, I want to see it. You want to see it? Okay, I'll get a picture from Myrna and I'll show you what the hell they're afraid of. You already made it. <laughs> I'm afraid of anything, but I'm afraid. Yeah, you already I'm made it. Uh-huh. I- but the way I was in here, I make a plan. I pray to my God, and uh-huh. I want so goodness for whatever little thing I do have. And I make up my mind, it's my, my time, I'm doing. And it wasn't my time. Something mm-hmm. I have done, that's why I'm here to finish it. Yes. What I do. You have work. How old are you now? 82 or 83? 83. 83. 83 and she says she has work to do here on this side that's why god didn't take her home when when did this happen right after your birthday right uh-huh right after yeah right before we got sick with covid right after your birthday yeah her birthday was um right after, yeah. so her birthday was september the 6th and that's when she got sick this is for the people that follow my cooking page and stuff that know what was going on with joe's mom so this is joe's mom i know the connection is really horrible i couldn't get duo to work 
because you have to set it up on the phone and I don't think she has dual, so it is what it is, right? But I want you guys to hear this story. You guys, what is the matter with Joel? He was sitting so quietly and peacefully at his computer desk. He got up in the middle of this recording to get an orange off of the baker's rack. The orange dropped out of his hand and hit this little fork spoon thing he made for me as a book holder. I have it sitting on the baker's rack holding up three packages of seeds, right? He dropped that thing in the dog food bowl. Big old, do you guys see me how I roll my eyes several times on him? I gave him the eye a mother would give a child like, you, you guys don't know how angry I get when Joe just F's up in the background and make all these noise, especially when I'm trying to be professional. With the vlogs, it's kind of okay, but not really. But when I'm making videos for Amazon, I don't need no noise in the background. And he's notorious for doing that. The kids say he's like that guy on Austin Powers, where they just pay him to do random crap in the background. Anyways, I hope you guys heard the story and I explained it. I think that was a guardian angel and I think my mother-in-law had a visitation of sorts. What do you think, Joe? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think the same thing you think. <laughs> like Eddie Murphy. Uh-huh. What Eddie Murphy movie? Whatever you want. Whatever you what want? Mother joined us car hot. We can't do something about the heat. Let me show the water. Oh, you're not in by the rivers of Babylon where we sat down I can't sing no more it's copyright infringement look there this is how you know we live in Booneville all right we need infrastructure infrastructure Biden we need some of that for come building our roads over yeah the road is good the draining is bad the draining is bad huh look there look there and the street that we take to the post office is the worst. <laughs> You're gonna see flooding, child. Every place, every, every place gonna be green now. For one day. <laughs> this is how California is. It rains for one day, it floods out like this, and the next day, dry, 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 dry. <laughs> Shut up, Joe. Shut up. It's a joke from my mom. So yeah, post office and then home. Now today I wish I had some soup to eat for real. For Oh, we have soup. We didn't finish eating that soup. We have soup. Oh my goodness, nice I'm gonna go way find way that. Oh, he's making cow food soup. Mm -mm. Oh, it's not too bad over here today, Hanjo. Huh, it's not too bad over here today. It's only in the corner. Oh. I talk to soon. This is what they used to do when they walk in the side of the road. In the water in the cold. Like, and they are dressed in up. Belize? Yep. And they are dressed right up and then they just... The oh, haters? Huh? Hateful drivers do yeah, that? Just they just right. wet you for spite? Wet you for spite. That's awful. You see why I'm not driving an old rain? This is a shit. I always remember that time when I drove in the rain to go help Lisa. Remember? If you know in this water you can't drive fast because it's going to take away your wheel. Look. Yeah, look here. Look here, we're going to flood down the river. Yeah, Mira, see? See the drain over there? It's overwhelmed. I could get out right there and don't get wet. Walk on the top of the water. You gonna walk on the water like Jesus, baby? Yeah. Look over here. I never knew I was married to Yeshua. You guys know Joshua name like Jesus, right? His name is Joshua Joseph. And Jesus' name was Yeshua Ben Joseph. Ben means son of. I'm talking. Ben means son of. He like to interrupt when people talk. See? But if I don't use the roof, I ain't gonna get a break. <laughs> what the hell wrong with you? <laughs> you talk as much as me, Joe. You got your time when you don't shut up. Mm -hmm. So I have to interrupt. Mm -hmm. Just rude. I got no home training. I'm gonna tell your mama. I was dragged up, huh? You were, you were dragged up. Have this light ain't gonna change? Mm -mm. The 
water they affect the light <laughs> so that light took so long that I had to shut off the camera oh the car won't shut down oh. what happened he shut down he shut down poor thing something got wet in there huh You're gonna come in and help me. I have a lot of a lot of things to do. I know, but I have a lot of things. Leave the parcel alone first. We have boxes to get, envelopes to get, to package. You want me to go in and get what I need and come back to the car, or should I just take the bag in and do it there? Okay, let's go in, guys. Hey, guys. That look. Don't be driving me crazy on this waterlogged street. The truck I think still. The car jammed there. Poor thing. Somebody needs to help them. They come out of the car? The person's still in the car? The car got wet and um, something shut down. I gotta call Jada and tell her to be careful. Let me call Jada. Because the water out here is so flooded in the intersection that cars are stalling out in the water. So you're gonna have to like drive that sucker on two wheels, go off to the side. <laughs> yeah, we're coming back from the post office right now. It flooded everywhere. All right, bye bye. You know I gotta talk to Evil Carnival Jada because she drive like Evil Carnival. Yeah, so I took Pat a very small black cake. It was made in one of the Easy Bake Oven tins. This is the first time she's gonna be tasting it and if she doesn't like it, I don't wanna have to waste my stuff. Um, I've given it to many American people, white people and black people, and I get mixed reviews. They either like it or they don't like it right off the bat. No, the ones that don't like it, it's I notice it's because I don't prepare them for the cake. I have to prepare them to let them know it's not a chocolate cake because the way the cake looks they might think it's a chocolate cake and then when they taste it it's like mm, okay that's a different taste what's that I mean I mean it's not horrible but what's that it's a caramelly type of cake because it's made with a burnt sugar which is akin to molasses but when I've tasted molasses molasses tastes a little bit more bitter than this burnt sugar burnt sugar tastes a little bit sweeter to me and then with the wine and stuff, you know, then you feel the kick of the alcohol. And so um, I would say out of a hundred uh, people that I've given this cake to, 90 people would like it, no matter what the race is. And 10 people might say, mm -hmm, don't know, it might take a little bit of getting used to. So that's why I prepared them like, it's not chocolate. Let me take this thing with my ear. It's not chocolate. It is, um, it is black cake made with burnt sugar. So she ready. I told her if she like it, then I'll take her some more. But for right now, child, she get a little one to taste. Um, update on Cindy. Cindy's progressing forward in her healing from COVID. Um, her only complaint right now, besides the nasal congestion, which is getting better because somebody took her like ginger and turmeric tea and all that stuff that you guys were sending me to drink. Um, and uh, the only complaint is the tiredness. She says she's not sleepy like Joe. Like remember how Joe was sleeping the whole time? But every time she gets out of the bed, she has to hold on to the wall, hold on to the, the foot of the bed, hold on you know, to everything to go to the bathroom. She has to hold on steady. And she's not dizzy, just extremely winded and tired. You see how that thing works, right Joe? Winded, you get winded. So I have to check with my other friend in a little while to see how she's doing. And um, that's the updates so far in this vlog. I'm making sourdough bread. I'm gonna go back home and see if I can find my darn soup. My chicken soup that I made the other day that I, we didn't finish eating. I think we have enough for me and Joe to eat. I'm doing good on my plan. Today's Vlogmas Day 14. I feel like I'm forgetting somebody's birthday today. December 14th feels like it should be important. Don't know why, don't know who. Sherry. 
you know. Yeah. Do you think what I'm doing right here, you know how I'm doing these vlogs for Vlogmas, do you think this is worth $5 a month for a membership? Because that's what I'm doing at my Patreon and at the YouTube membership. I have my friend Gary learning how to build out a membership at my website because that would be the best thing for me to do is just have the membership at my website and it would be five dollars a month i would tell the six people that i have at patreon to come over to my website for five dollars a month and i would tell the three people that i have at youtube to come over to my website for five dollars a month because right now how i'm doing this for vlogmas these videos are making like 88 cents a dollar ten I looked at it the other day. I'm gonna I'm gonna look and show you guys when I go on the computer. I'm gonna screen record and show you guys what these videos are making more or less. The one where I went to the parade has the most views, so that would have made that would have made a couple bucks, but I couldn't monetize that because of the music and stuff, right? So that's all I can give at my membership. I don't know what else to give there. If you guys have ideas for what I can give at my membership and it's something easy for me to do. I would absolutely do it. I would absolutely do it. What am I doing? Okay, I'm using this flower out of the yellow bowl because this is the Mormon flower. That's what the Mormon. That, that's what the flower says on it. Mormon flower. They made it. And this is what Joe likes for his sourdough bread. I'm having some shoulder issue on this shoulder. I don't know why that shoulder is hurting because I hold the camera with this shoulder. You know what I mean? With this arm, so that shoulder isn't working. So I made this. Two sourdough loaves. I put out the starter late last night, like at midnight or so. And then I didn't knead off the dough ball until like, hmm, it was pretty late. It was pretty late because I got tied up with other things. And then right before I went to the post office is when I kneaded off. You guys saw a fly just now? That fly was in here since last night, but it didn't fly around all day. I'm gonna have to get him. I don't think Wednesday heard it because Wednesday's still laying there. So this is Joe's Mormon one. Keep this on the left because Joe's left-handed. I'll grease it with some butter in a little while, but let me take care of my regular one. That's why I have this flour because this is the Mormon flour. You gotta put that back in the bin. Thank you, Penny, for giving us that flour when it's done. Then I don't know what Joe's going to do for sourdough bread because we're going to have a Mormon starter and no flour to make bread. So he might have to buy that off of Amazon. That stuff is expensive. I don't know what they do to make this flour, but it's expensive. Huh? They put their foot in it. They put their, oh my God, the Mormon people going to come for you. They put their foot in it. Yeah. So I always make two loaves. And then we put one in the fridge. Well, we'll eat off of both. We'll eat off of both because Joe likes his. And although I like Joe's, I try not to eat it because that's the one he likes. You know what I mean? So I eat off of mine. But when we see that it's going, you know, slowly and one's going to go bad, we hurry, put it in the fridge. So I have so much stuff to edit. I feel overwhelmed. I have to edit this Vlogmas right here, day 14. And then I also have to edit the small batch black cake. I haven't edited that yet. I wanted to have that ready for today, but I guess that's going to have to be ready for tomorrow. And then I have some cinnamon rolls that's not made with the cinnamon filling. It's made with some jam filling, some jam that we made from scratch. And then I have an unboxing from some stuff that Liz sent for me, one of my viewers that has become a friend throughout the years. She sent me some really neat stuff. I put the picture on Instagram. Are you guys following my IG? It's called at bear pantry show follow my ig i post some fun pictures there so anyways um there's one thing that she sent me that i absolutely adore but i wish that i had some kung soup left so that i can um i can use the thing i'll show you in a second just let me finish rolling up my bread okay so this is i don't know when this bread is gonna bake because it's a rainy day, it might take a while. 5.26 right now in the evening. If I bake this before I finish editing this vlog, I'll show you guys right at the end of the video, okay? How it came out, or how they came out. So my, my um, pan is just greased lightly with butter. <sighs> Jada said, 
somebody almost hit her out there in the rain when she went to work and some big tree fell in the road I guess she had to go around some big tree it's crazy and it's blowing hard in LA it's really not blowing out here so the roof is leaking but thank God it's in the garage right in the middle too it's not leaking on on important things it leaked there before but Joe fixed it Joe is that rain again is that rain again yeah. right yeah yeah it's raining again it leaked there before but Joe fixed it and it didn't leak the last few rains we had huh see when Joe get up it's a lot of noise in that corner because he hits those blinds and he doesn't understand that like when I'm filming important things for the vlogs there they should be okay right because you guys know vlogs are your your everyday life but for other stuff that I'm doing, I can't stand these noises in the background. I need a studio. I need a shed studio. I I am a professional. I thank you. I thank you, sir. Be kind, sir. We know you're not in prison, but we need to put you in a crowd hole somewhere. We really need to put you somewhere. So we're just going to cover this up and then when it comes up, it comes up and we'll bake it, even if it's midnight. If I have to put it in at midnight and have Joshua watch it, oh well. That's what we're going to do. So let me cover up, because I have to get to a lot of things to put out with this Mormon flour. So let me just cover it with that. So that's done for right now. Let me show you the thing that my friend sent for me that I absolutely adore. Joe tried to say... At first, I thought it was a thing that you lay your spoon on when you're cooking. Then Joe said it was a gravy thing. But with this little spoon like this, this is no gravy thing. This is for me to eat soup out of. Child. Oh, you know what I'm going to make, Joe? Some um, fish, that fish soup or, you know that one that I used to make with the milk and I dice up the fish small? Or I could make some, um, what do you call that thing? Some chowder, clam chowder. What do you think? Some clam chowder with this? It'll look pretty because the clam chowder is white. This is pink. And we'll have a mukbang. Joe says the, the foot part of the thing is actually the, what? The butt part of the, the shell. And then they use another part for the spoon. This is so unique. So gorgeous. So unique. Thank you, Liz. We're going to do a mukbang out of this real soon. I'm going to be the only person eating out of a conch shell. Mm-hmm. So let me tell you guys another thing that happened today. One of my one of my memory for the camera got corrupted while I was recording. My mother-in-law tell us her little story about the angel visitation. So I had to switch to another memory, and I don't know what memory I'm using and what camera anymore. I'm so lost and confused. Pray for me, y'all. So I'm gonna end this vlog right here. So at the end. If these are ready, you'll see this, you know, after I play my music and everything. But I want to thank you for watching my vlogmases. And I hope that you guys are enjoying them, okay? So we're at day 14. I have to really take some time tonight to edit a few videos so I can clean off the memory off of that. Well, the one memory. I have to clean off that one. But I have stuff from the black cake on that. And if I pull a clip off and it's corrupted, at least I can go back to the, to the memory and get it, right? <sighs> If I pull it off and it's corrupted and I clean the memory already, I am SOL. So let me go at least edit that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another vlog. Bye. Thank you for making it all the way through to the end. Please check out my primary channel, which can be found right here on YouTube. It's called The Bear Pantry Show. Also check out my website, bearpantryshow.com, so that you can pick up a copy of one of my three books. Also, remember, we are not buying this book that's being sold on Amazon. Why? Because my distributor is ripping me off. Thanks, guys. Can you tell the viewers really quickly how we fought over those backs? Fought like two <laughs> wild bloody animals trying to get the back. This is Joe's Mormon bread, and that's mine, and he wants the back off of mine. What's his problem? All four backs. <laughs> All four backs.